Well, at the present time, we have uh, basically a very aged communications infrastructure uh, in use in the county. Uh, the, the, uh, the communications center and the uh, dispatch center are very up to date, but we have really fallen behind the times with our other equipment. It's really outlived its useful life and probably at this point is inadequate for our needs. One of the great challenges for emergency services is that a, a, a multi-agency response where you have multiple fire departments responding, you have law enforcement responding, sometimes multiple law enforcement, you have emergency medical services, you have public safety, public works, and the ability for all of those different agencies to be able to communicate by radio is critical to the successful outcome of an event and we define successful outcome one of the ways by uh, lack of injuries and, and of course death to the emergency first responders. Communications help solve that problem. It, it allows the incident commanders and division commanders to be able to communicate uh, hazards, ongoing status reports, and it alerts people when they need to change strategies and perhaps even get out of the way of an escalating event so that um, our emergency responders are not put at risk. As in the re recent mill fire and the unfortunate tragedy down in Charleston, as, as the events change because they're dynamic events, if that information is not communicated to the firefighters holding the nozzle and climbing the ladders, then they're going to be exposed unnecessarily to risk. On the, on the given incident we had today, where the officer was shot, we had several agencies that responded here. The Highway Patrol, Anderson City Police Department, and the Anderson County Sheriff's Office. Uh, under the best case scenario, had everyone here been equipped with the same communication system, we could have deployed personnel out and covered a larger geographic area. But because we didn't have everybody on the same uh, system, we had to uh, place someone from the Sheriff's Office with the Police Department uh, and also someone with the Highway Patrol to ensure that we could maintain communication. So that limited the actual area that we could uh, contain and um, and keep within the perimeter of the location where the, we thought the suspect would be. And with the 800 radio uh, in this community and with the advancement now of the 800 megahertz, everybody can be on the same radio, on the same frequency. You have fire protection, you've got uh, EMS folks, you've got aviation uh, assistance. Everybody can talk to everybody uh, when they arrive on station and communication is not the problem. You have you can actually begin dealing with the problem the, for why you're there uh, and that's a significant enhancement to safety and um, uh, the good of the public and the community. EMS calls can mean life or death in responding paramedics from our 911 system Communication is so important that we have that communications not only with the dispatch center but also with the hospital. When paramedics get out of the ambulance, sometimes their communications back to the dispatch center is very limited. We, at this point, we've actually been a little bit lucky uh, that we haven't had more problems than we already have had. Two problems with the, with the high band system, though, is that when we go out and assist Anderson County, uh, and we had to switch over their frequency. A lot of the area down here on the lower end of the county is what we call dead area. You, have, you just lose radio communication uh, with, uh, with central dispatch. And in order to get that communication back, a lot of times you have to come off their primary frequency and come on to our frequency. 
uh, which sometimes they have the capability to do that, sometimes they don't. Uh, <clears throat> if they don't, then we're just sitting out there in a dead zone. We can't communicate with one another. And uh, you're basically back to using hand signals and, 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 and direct voice communication, which doesn't work well uh, on, a, on a fire scene. Uh, the second thing is if we had a big event here in Honey Pass, such as a tornado or, uh, or a big fire, we had to call in a lot of outside agencies and got outside of Anderson County as far as mutual aid response goes, uh, we had to, so they've had to uh, uh, mobilize the uh, uh, state firefighter mobilization plan. Then, if we not have 800 megahertz communication, you'd have no communication with these outside people. You know, once we're trying to communicate with all these different people and we're trying to talk, especially this far out in the county, we need a, a good 800 system. And the problem is half the people don't have the 800 system. We don't have the proper channels that we need for the 800 systems. And it would really be great to be able to do that, to have these people to be able to do their jobs better. We we'll wound up having to do a lot of face-to-face -face communication today just because the radios was a problem. And it could be an easy fix to it if we could have the funding to be able to get those 800s out there to the people and make a great access to be able to make rescues better. We can't really, we can do our job, but it makes our job a lot easier being able to talk to one another and being able to talk to each different individual group, each boat, back to the command post and even back to dispatch. Trying to set up a uh, perimeter with several different agencies, four or five at one time, shows the, uh, the real need to have uh, a, an interoperable radio system uh, in law enforcement throughout the state, not just here in uh, Anderson County, but uh, throughout the entire state. The Palmetto 800 uh, radio system is, is uh, such a uh, system that uh, we're supporters of in the Anderson Police Department, as are, as are most law enforcement agencies. The 800 megahertz system would certainly enhance the uh, quality of care that we deliver here in Anderson County, not only with MedShore, but all of the rescue squads across the county. We have 800 uh, volunteers. Uh, they spend many hours in their training, uh, uh, getting to the point where they can respond to the incidents that we have. As a matter of fact, we have, uh, uh, I understand, we're the fifth largest volunteer fire department in the nation. Uh, you put that in terms of dollars, and, and, and uh, that would be something that we, is, uh, that we really couldn't afford here in Anderson County. Minutes and even seconds are very important when you're on a scene. The 800 megahertz system that is being proposed, I think, will solve many of the problems, especially involving communication dead spots in the county and uh, interagency communications. Being the elected county coroner in Anderson County, I have to communicate with all the agencies throughout the county, and that's one thing that we really lack when it comes to interoperability, is not being able to talk from agency to agency. Uh, it's really vital, I think, at this point that we, we endorse this system and, and go ahead and proceed with this. Uh, I think we're reaching the point now where safety of our citizens is at stake. That's the bottom line, is, 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 is firefighter safety and life and death. And, and if you can't communicate and can't get the help in when you need it, then everybody may as well stay at home.